Alright, hello everyone. Welcome back to our free online lessons. And thank you for joining me today. Moment, I'm going to open my slide. Alright, thank you everyone for joining me today. Hopefully you guys are well. And today FOL, or free online lesson, will be the basic bridge design in Civil 3D. So, uh, my name is Aunu Mira. I am the application engineer at ACAT system. So, if you guys cannot hear me or cannot screen my uh, cannot see my screen or my screen is freezing, uh, just let me know. And you have and if you have questions to ask me, just let me know at the chat box. All right. So for today's lesson, we'll be uh creating the basic simple uh, basic bridge design in civil 3d so this is what uh, our output for today lesson so first of all we're going to export point which is this is the uh, basic uh, usage in civil 3d we will be export the point and from the point we will have uh, we will extract the surface okay hi who are just coming in thank you Okay, uh, we're just going to create a surface from the point and then we will going to create the alignment which is this one are where we want to place our bridge, our road in our model. And then from the alignment, we create the surface profile which is the cross section uh, like this. Okay, the cross section of uh, the alignment. Hi, hi, we're just coming in. Thank you. Okay, a moment. Okay, and then we're going to create a proposed uh, profile creation, which is this is the exact place we want to place our bridge or our road. And we're going to create assembly for the road and the bridge. So, so there will be two assembly, which is the road and the bridge. Okay, hi, who are just coming in. Thank you. And then we will we'll create the corridor, which is where we place the assembly for the road and the bridge. And from the corridor, we're going to create a grading and create the 3D column. Okay. So 3D column, this one is actually, we just catch it. So I didn't find where we can create this uh, structure in uh, Civil 3D. So this is the one way that we can create a structure in Civil 3D. So, uh, likely to remind you this, uh, all of this uh, information, all of the value that I insert in our data, which is the uh, the sizing, uh, the length, the depth, and so on. I just randomly uh, create the value uh, requirement, the, the, rec the value requirement, uh, just randomly created. Uh, to, to uh, make it uh, suitable for my project. So if your project has your own requirement, your own sizing, your own depth, your own uh, data, you can use all of that uh, and compile it with our uh, step today, okay? So without wasting any time, I will go straight to our Civil 3D. So I'm going to share my Civil 3D. So I already opened my CV 3D, so I'm currently using the 2023 version. So from here, I'm going to go to new tab here, click on that one. So this is our interface for new tab. And currently I'm using the CV 3D metric. So I'm aware that the unit here is in meter. Okay. Hi, who are just coming in. Thank you for joining me. Okay, to insert the uh, survey point or survey data in Civil 3D, so you just click on this insert tab here. You can find there is import, import column here. So this one, point from far. Okay, click on this one and it will pop up this import point box. So to add your file, add your data. So click on this plus, uh, green color here to add file. Click on this one and then find your data in your uh, local uh, local PC. Okay, so this is my data P and EZD and bridge. Okay, 
click on open. So this one is a CSV file. And for the format will be PLEZD space delimited. Okay. PLEZD is uh, where is the point, no thing is thing, and elevation are required. Okay. Hi, who are just coming in? Thank you for joining me today. And then everything is okay and click on okay. And for the resolution here, I'm just going to go override, click on OK, and double click, and I'm going to extend zoom. So this is our point here. So currently, there is no level yet. Okay. Okay, hi, who are just coming in. Thank you for joining me today. Okay, currently, my point here has no level yet. To add level, for example, you want to know what the exact uh, elevation here, the point here, the description and so on. So to uh, show that, so you have to go to this two, two space here and go to this prospector and you can find there is the point group there. Click the drop down here and click on all point, right click and go to property step. So here at the point level stuff, click this drop down and I'm going to show only the elevation. Okay, click on apply, click OK. Okay. Hi, who just coming in? Thank you. Thank you for joining me. Okay, and if I zoom in, I can find this is the elevation for every point here. So next one, after I import the uh, point, I'm going to create a surface from the point here. Okay, to create a surface, currently there is no surface yet to be created. So you go same column here, same uh, prospector, and click on the surface, right click, and click on the create surface. So this is where the create surface uh, setting. Okay, so the name will be EG surface. Okay, the description, the style, and the material angle. If you want to change it, you can just click on the box with three dots here and change it here. So I'm just going to use the default setting here. Click on OK. Okay, after that, it's not yet creating the surface because we didn't add the point in our surface uh, group. So you can find there is a plus button here. So click drop down until you find this group point. Okay, click on that, right click, click on add. So these are the group point that I have in my project. So if you have your own group point for the bridge only, so some, some cases, some project, they have their own point for the bridge only. So you can choose that group, okay? Okay, hi, who are just coming in, thank you. Okay, click on the point, the group point that you would like to draw the uh, bridge. So currently, I'll, I'll, I only have one. So click on this one, click on the part, apply, and click on, okay. So it will extract the surface for all point here. Okay. So I'm going to zoom in in this space. So I'm going to create the bridge from this point to this point. Okay. Before I creating the bridge, I'm going to create the alignment first. So to create alignment, I'm going to sketch where exact point I want to start and where exact point I want to end. So first of all, go to circle here. I'm going to pick a point here where I want to start it. For example, I'm going to start it at this point. Okay, and I'm going to end it at this point. Okay, for example. And after that, I draw a line to connect these two points. So start from this, connect these two points here. Okay, so this is why, where I want to place the road and also the bridge. Okay. So to create the alignment, so you go to design, create design column here, you find this is alignment there. So click on this drop down. So you find here is the create alignment from object. 
Okay, click on this one, click on the line that we just connected it from these two points. Click on this one and press enter. So this is the direction of our alignment. So it will start at this point and end at this point. So if you don't like it, you just click on reverse. So it will change from start to this point and end to this point. So I'm okay with the direction. So I click on enter. So this is a setting uh, for the alignment. So I'm going to rename this one as road and bridge. Okay. The site will be none, alignment star to post. And the label set, I'm going to use this measure and minor only. And I uncheck this add curve between tangent and make sure you check on this erase existing entities, which is it will erase our line after we click on OK. Uh, which way it will replace it with our alignment. Okay, click on OK. So now the line just now uh, changing to the alignment. Okay, so I'm going to delete on the circle first. Okay, delete. So now from this uh, alignment, I'm going to create the profile view or the cross section of this. Uh, alignment okay so click on the alignment and you can find this alignment root and bridge column it will be added on and you find here is the surface profile so click on this one and then the setting here are being set uh, automatically so because I already I only have one alignment one surfaces and one uh, setting here so if you have like a bunch of alignment that you have already created, so, so you need to choose accordingly. And click on add. So here is the detail station. So click on the draw in profile view. Okay, this is where the setting for the profile view, the pending, the uh, profile, uh, view style, description and so on. Okay, so for general, I'm just going to change on this uh, profile view style. Click on the drop down and change it to land desktop profile view. And the others will be just set as, as default. Okay, and then click on the create profile view. So now it wants us to place the profile view. So I'm just going to place it like up here. Okay, so here. The red line here is actually the EG surface, existing ground. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create one more purpose line, which is where our bridge will be placed. Okay, to create the purpose line, so you click on the surface. And before that, I'm going to adjust the... Uh, X, uh, the horizontal axis and the vertical uh, for the top and for the bottom uh, axis. So to do that, go to profile view properties, go to edit profile view style and go to here, horizontal axis. And I'm just going to uh, change the measure tick detail for the interval or the bottom to 20 and for the top to same, same value, 20 on apply on ok so it will look more uh, uh more thick uh more nice there okay to create the purpose line which is where we place the bridge so click on the profile again and then click on this profile creation tools and rename it as design bridge which is this one is for a uh, proposed design so the profile style will be design profile so there is a bunch of profile style that you can have it so the the profile level set will be the complete level set click on okay and this box will pop up this is tool for uh, for us to draw so the first icon here okay I'm just going to click on this draw tangent with curve. Click on this one. 
and bring it inside. And I'm going to start my point like parallelly uh, to this top of this uh, uh, EG. Okay. Click on this one and bring it to this side. Like that click on escape one time and I okay I find here the line here are crossing the EG surface so just it's okay you can just drag it up like this click on the line okay and drag it up like that so it will uh, not uh, touching the EG all right, so this is where I want my uh, root and my bridge will start from this point and end at this point. So close on these tools. And next one, I'm going to create the assembly for the root and for the bridge. So to create assembly, you go to here to assembly drop down and click on create assembly. So this one will be the root. Hi, hi, who are just coming in? Thank you. And click on OK. So I'm going to place where I'm going to uh, my uh, place my assembly. So we're just going to place near to our project here. So it will automatically zoom for you to the assembly. It's actually uh, very tiny there. Okay. And to add our lane, our shoulders, for example, uh, drainage and so on. So you have to open these two palettes. Okay. So this is where the element that you can add in your assembly. So for now, I'm going to go to lane option here and then use this lane super elevation AOR. Click on this one. And then the parameter here, you can change it before and after you add in the assembly. Okay, so if you want to change it before, it, uh, before you add in your assembly, so you can just open the properties and change the parameter here. So for example, for the width of the lane for the right side will be 8 meter. And the default slope will be 0. I don't want any slope. Okay, hi, who are just coming in. Thank you for, for joining me today. And for the PIF one that the that will be around two zero point two five. The that two, I uh, just one only one, uh, only two that will be uh, only two layer will be in our uh, lane. So this PIF, PIF two that will be zero. And base that will be zero point one five. And the sub base will be zero. So there will be only two layers in my link. Okay, in my project. So click after I satisfied with the parameter and click on this uh, yellow box here. So it will automatically add in the, uh, the link. So next one okay, will be the shoulder. So it's uh, on the bottom of the link here. Click on the shoulder option there. So I'm going to add this shoulder extent all on this one and zoom into your lane. Okay, before that, I'm going to change the parameter for the shoulder too. Okay, where is the parameter just now? Um, okay. So for the parameter for the shoulder, uh, I'm going to change the width to 1.5. And then the slope, I'm going to have the slope for the shoulder. The daylight slope will be 4 by 1. Uh, okay, sorry, not 4 by 1, 2 by 1. And the pith, uh, pavement depth, the depth for sub depth and uh, base depth will be the same as the uh, lane. Okay, so the pave 1 depth will be 0. Point a two five, the base to that will be zero, the base that will be zero point one five, and the uh, moment, 
and the sub base that will be zero. So they will be same as uh, this lay. Only two layer will uh, be uh, created. Okay. So place it at this corner of the lane, this circle. Click on this one. So that is the shoulder. Okay, next one, I'm going to add a cut and slope ditch or the daylighting. Oh, sorry, the daylight. Okay, a moment. All right. So to add late daylight, uh, you can also go to daylight, uh, daylight. Uh, option here there is so much more daylight that you can use so currently i'm just going to use the basic one so go to basic uh, option here and i'm going to use this basic side slope cut ditch okay click on this one so for the cut slope and the fill slope i'm going to change this one to one and the fill slope will be one by two okay so i'm just going to change that uh, these two uh, parameter only for the daylighting or for the daylight. Okay, and place it at the end of the circle. Okay, this one. So this is will be your last element you add in your uh, assembly. So if you have like another uh, one element here, for example, you have a uh, walkway or uh, drainage. So you have a this cut and slope, uh, uh, cut, side slope, cut dish, this one, this daylight will be the last element you adding in your assembly, okay? And then I'm going, this is just for the right side. And now I'm going to add, uh, to mirror it for the left side. So select everything. So you have to find this one, mirror for assembly. So this one, just not the uh, the basic mirror. This one is uh, specially uh, for the sub-assembly only. So click on this mirror and click on this line for assembly here. So it will automatically create for the left side. Okay, next one, I'm going to add one more assembly, which is for the bridge. Click on create assembly. This one, I change the name to bridge. Okay. And I place it at this here. And go to this. Okay, before I adding my bridge, I have to copy this lane first. So I know uh, the exact size of lane. Uh, then I can change the parameter of the bridge according to the lane size. So click on this uh, lane and click on copy. This one also not the uh, basic copy that we use in AutoCAD. This one is a sub-assembly copy. Click on this one. Hi, who just coming in? Thank you for joining me. Okay, and then click on this assembly. So same goes to the left side. Click on this one, click on copy, and add in your assembly. So next one, go to the uh, bridge option, this one. So we only have two options here, which is the girdle one and the girdle two. So I'm just going to add for the girdle two, girdle two, and the lane for uh, the lane width for the left side, I'm going to change this one to like uh, nine. Okay, I cannot change it, it's okay. I place the uh, bridge first. Okay, place the bridge. Place the bridge first there. And click on the uh, bridge and click on the sub assembly properties. So here is the parameter tab. So this is the other way you can use to change the parameter of your element, okay? So for the left side will be nine, and for the right lane for the bridge will be same, goes to the left side will be nine too. And I'm just going to change two more, which is the slope. 
So slope will be same as the lane just now. Only zero. I don't have any, I don't want any slope. And then the dimension here, going to change for dimension C, going to change it to three. Okay. So for the other setting, I'm just going to let it be as default. Click apply, click okay. And I zoom into my bridge assembly. I click on the bridge first. And you can find there is like a drag button here for uh, the bridge. So break it down a bit like that. So you can see the link on top of this bridge. Okay, we'll look like this. So settle with the assembly. So now we will create in the corridor. So to create the corridor, just go here at this corridor drop down and click on corridor. And this is the setting for the corridor. I'm going to rename it as road and bridge, bridge corridor. And the corridor style will be basic, alignment will be uh, the road and bridge, the profile will be design bridge. The assembly here will be road first. So for the bridge, I will show you how we add the assembly for the bridge after this. And the target surface will be EG surface and click on OK. So this is the setting for baseline and region parameter for the corridor. So I'm just going to you uh, change the uh, frequency here, which is just now, uh, right now, are uh, 20 meter. Okay, hi, who are just coming in? Thank you. So this 20 meter, I'm going to change the value for the frequency here uh, to five. So everything in this uh, frequency apply assemblies will be uh, five, will be changed to five, okay? The curve, the along tangent for horizontal baseline, along a uh, spiral, and for the vertical baseline, the curve, okay? Everything uh, that uh, the value is 20, I change to five. Click on okay, click on apply, and then click on reboot corridor, and click on okay. So this is our uh, link. Okay, so you can find this is the uh, target surface. Okay, to split this uh, uh, corridor for the, to, to insert our uh, bridge. So I'm going to close on this palette first. Okay, so click on the corridor, okay. click on the corridor and you find here is this split region. Okay, split corridor region. Click on this one and zoom in where you want to uh, cut the road and uh, continue it with the uh, bridge. So for example, I'm going to start the bridge from this point. Okay, and then same goes to other side. I'm going to start uh, the bridge from this point. All right now what uh, the corridor are uh, still in selected be selected so click escape one time only and go to corridor properties here so go to parameter tab so this is where this uh, corridor parameter of for our project so this is the region we already split it to three region so the middle one is actually, I want to change this assembly to root. So to change it, just click on the root and this edit corridor region box will pop up. So change the assembly to bridge. Click on okay and make sure every region here are being checked. Click on apply. So reboot the corridor again and click on okay. So I'm going to show to you Oh, sorry, I'm going to show to you the object viewer. So this is our corridor. Zoom in for you. 
change this one. Okay. So you can find this is the lane stop here and this, the bridge will start at where you cut uh, this the region just now. Okay. Close on this one. So next one, I'm going to create a grading for uh, for this side of uh, the bridge. So to create a grading, I want to uh, sketch uh, the, the shape of the grading first. So to sketch on that, you use this rectangle. Okay, just going to create first. So because my project are not uh, aligned, so I have to like uh, rotate it. So this point, okay. And click on this one, I rotate it to make it align with our uh, corridor. One moment. Okay. Like that. Make it align. And I'm going to adjust the shape here. Okay. In this one to bring it in. Okay. It's not going to click on this one. It's okay. I'm going to just click on this end point. Okay, same goes to this part. This end point here. This one is here. Okay, so I'm okay with this shape. So to create a gradient, we have to change this uh, line to feature line. So to create, to change it to feature line, so go to this feature line drop down. You can find here is create feature line from object. Click on this one and click on the object. Click on enter. Okay. And I just make sure it erase existing entities here. Click on okay. Okay, sorry, before that, I'm going to undo first. So I'm going to like uh change the elevation for the shape here. Make sure it's uh, aligned with the point here. Okay, so it will be uh very uh, uh under the bridge, the grading. So click on the object first. So I just undo just now or from the feature line and click on the properties. So the elevation here is actually 115.34. So I'm going to change this one 115.34. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, create the feature, lines, feature line again. Close on the properties, click on the feature line, click on the create feature line from object, and click on the object, enter. Okay, click on okay. So now I'm going to create a grading from this feature line. So go to free, uh, grading drop down and go to grading creation tools. So these tools uh, for uh, grading will pop up. So click on the first one, which is the grading group. And I'm not going to change the name. Uh, check on the automatic surface creation. And the setting here, I'm just going to set it at default. If you want to change the setting here, the style, you can do that. So next, uh, check on this volume based profile. Click on OK. And then click on OK. So next one, click on the icon beside the group, uh, surface, uh, the grading group there, which is the surface. So it will be the EG surface. OK. Now to draw the grading uh, in your project is, so just click on this one, create grading. Okay, now it asks us to let, uh, select the surface, the features, or where we want to uh, place the grading. So I'm just going to place it to select the feature line just now. And now uh, it wants us to select the grading side, so you want it, the grading to be inside the box or outside the box. So I want it to the grading to be outside the box and apply to entire, entire length, no. 
Okay, I'm just going to apply to this from this point, enter, and bring it to this point here. Make sure the arrow are showing the outside of this box, at this part only. Okay, and click on enter. And now it asks us to specify the distance for the slope. So I'm going to like make sure it's like go down here until this point, for example. Okay, so the distance is around 100 meter. So I just insert 100 meter. And the format will be slope. And for the slope ratio, uh, you have to add negative in it. So for example, I want it to negative 2. Okay, so because I want the ratio, uh, the grading, uh, the grading downward. So if you didn't add the negative in your value, so the grading will be like on top of your features. Enter, and that is my grading. So I'm going to escape on that. Go to view type. Okay, so this one. Going to change the view a moment. Okay, zoom in like that. So that is my grading. Going to realistic. All right. So it will look like this. Okay. So if you uh you can uh repeat this step for the other side of the bridge. And right now I'm going to show you how I do the uh, structure for this. Uh, bridge in civil 3D. Okay, so going to like make it bigger on this side. So, uh, for example, I'm going to add the structure at this part. So go to here at home tab and just going to create uh, the rectangle. So this is the only way that I know to insert the structure in civil 3D. Okay. So click on that one, click on the uh, rectangle. I'm going to like just sketch it like this. So I, I didn't insert the exact value of the foundation or, or the column or the structure. So this one, this one is just a sample of the method I use in Civil 3D to create uh, the uh, structure for the bridge. Okay. So I'm going to rotate it. Take this one, like this, and move it to the center of uh, the bridge. Okay, a moment. Uh, midpoint. All right. <laughs> Did the move? A moment to move it. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. This one is okay. So same as I do for grading before. So I have to like change the elevation for this shape uh, to the exact surface here. Okay. Exact elevation here. So how do I know what uh, the elevation, uh, the nearest elevation beside this uh, shape? So to know that, so you have to click on the surface. Okay, click on the surface. And you find here is the add levels. You click the drop down here and you find that there is a spot level. So I just only want, uh, want to know what the exact elevation near on this shape. So I just click uh, the any spot here nearest to the shape. So the elevation here are 79.971. Uh, okay. Click on escape. So click on the shape again. So go to properties. And you can find the elevation here and change it to 79.71. Okay. So now your uh your uh, shape here will be exactly on top on the surface there, okay? 
So I'm going to close on this pro pro properties. And then I'm going to like, while it's still being selected, I'm going to type EXT. I'm going to extrude it. Click on that one. And you can find uh, why I uh, drag my cursor. So the uh, 3D view here also, uh, you can find, you can observe it from this 3D view. Okay. So this is why I open the viewport like this. So the value will be around, sorry, around five meter. And I'm going to add column. So click on this circle, which is going to have tangent, tangent by tangent. So click on this one. So one more on this side. Okay. All right, like that. So same goes to the circle here. Okay, click on the circle. Click uh, start. Sorry, click on the circle. Go to properties there. The Z value. Okay. A moment. Oh, it's okay. So there is the circle. No need to uh, do the elevation because I'm using tangent, tangent by tangent just now. So it will place a uh, same elevation as the uh, rectangle. Okay. And then just extrude it. No need to, uh, to exact to to change the elevation. Okay. Click on this one. D extrude it. So I'm going to extrude it. Um, make sure it's uh attached with the bridge. Okay, a moment, my see is lagging. Okay, more or less like that. Okay, need to change this one. Sorry, I need to undo this. A moment here. Yeah. Okay. So once again, this one. Okay. This. Okay. This one. See. Now I extrude it. Key moment. The one. Okay. Okay, now it's okay. So bring it up here. Attach to the bridge. Moment. All right. It's not attaching, it's okay. So we can edit it at the 3D view. Okay, bring it upward until it attach to the bridge there. Okay, so it goes to here. Oops. Attach. Moment. Okay. This one. Okay. It will look like that. That is uh, the structure. I'm going to change the height there. The height is 35. So same goes for the another one. Okay. Okay. I'm done with the structure. So that is how you add the structure in a civil 3D. This is the only way that I know in a civil 3D.
to add the structure. So the uh, if you want to add more structure in it, uh, you can add uh, you can repeat the step I show you just now. Okay. So if uh, you find this method like uh, too many steps to add the structure, so I recommend to you to um, export this uh, uh, project to Revit and add the structure uh, column and foundation in Revit. So that I find that way is a more um, more more easier. Okay. So uh, that's it for our lesson today. So is there any question you want to ask me? Okay, before I end our lesson today, I would like to share our uh, ACAD system website. So this is ACAD system website. There is uh, you can find here is what product that we provided, what services that we provided, and you can find the uh, discount or promotion for every every uh, uh, product. Okay, and if you scroll more, you can find this is our next free online lesson. If you interested to join, okay, there is bunch more free online lessons you can join. Okay, for example, you are interested to join this AutoCAD, oh, I'm sorry, AutoCAD line, polyline, and multi-line. This one, click on this one, click on the image there. So you click on register or click on go in there. So insert your email, your uh, name. So we will uh, uh, email you the exact time and the uh, Zoom link to you and if you want to rewatch this uh, Fiona lesson or other Fiona lesson before previously you can just go to our YouTube channel so you type ACAD system Sundaram Bahad you can find there is bunch more previous Fiona lesson uh, from our company and if you want to rewatch uh, today for a lesson, also can. You can just rewatch uh, it here. Okay, you can explore it by yourself. And don't forget to subscribe us too. Okay. So I find there is a question. Very good. Can we have recorded session, a session for this one? So uh, KK Sava uh, asking for the recorded session. So if you, uh, like I said just now, if you want to rewatch this pre on the lesson, you can just go to our YouTube channel and then you can find, uh, we will upload today for your lesson in YouTube channel, okay? So is there, is there any question you want to ask more? Okay, I believe there is no more question. Okay, thank you everyone. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for lending me your time. Okay, hopefully that uh, you all uh, take care and uh, hopefully can see you all soon in our next final lessons.